Uh, so let me go ahead and introduce the concept of allometric scaling here. I already mentioned it. It's basically when things scale differently uh, in biology than, uh, let's say, square, two squares, two cubes, two circles, and so on, which change in by the same amount in every direction. Um, what is allometric scaling when it comes to uh, species? So we look at uh, body mass. So average weight of a particular species. It's going here from 1.2 uh, to 4, so you can think of it as a number of fish species that uh, are small to average weight of 4 kilograms. And you are here looking at the uh, log of the abundance. Abundance uh, is in general, uh, if you look at a region uh, and a ecosystem, then it's the number of uh, that particular species. It can also be biomass. So if you look, uh, let's say we are thinking about skipjack tuna again. So average weight of uh, the skipjack tuna, individual tuna, and the biomass of the skipjack tuna. So weight of all the uh, skipjacks in the world combined. So what does this say? Basically it's saying that as the body mass of a particular species increases, its abundance decreases. You already know and intuitively uh, based on the energy calculation and the biomass calculation we did, uh, we said to feed uh, one killer whale you will need some thousand times uh, the phytoplankton because you go through multiple uh, steps in the food ch uh, chain right so it was eating uh, some fish that fish was eating a smaller fish that fish was eating zooplankton zooplankton was eating uh, phytoplankton so obviously it's like thinking of feeding chicken to humans uh, so number of humans may be uh, 7 billion and in a year we are killing 10 times that many chicken uh, to feed ourselves okay so that means the biomass of the chicken, which is much smaller than our body weight, body mass, is much larger, okay? Approximately that way. So we can do it in terms of uh, carbon. Uh, estimates of uh, carbon biomass has been done. So on land, uh, plants are estimated to be about 450 gigatons of carbon. So mega is 10 to the 6, giga is 10 to the 9. And humans, compared to that, look down here, uh, all the animals together is 2 gigatons of carbon. And humans are just 0 0.06 gigatons of carbon. Right? Since plants and photosynthesis form the base of the food web on terres in terrestrial ecosystems, biomass of plants has to be much, much larger than all the other animals. So elephant may be huge but the total biomass of the elephants is obviously much smaller than the plants uh, biomass because elephants eat plants and you can see all the animals together is just about two gigatons in the ocean you can think here you can look here protists are four gigatons of uh, carbon archaea seven gigatons fungi uh, bacteria actually this is still uh, all the species not just the ocean uh, and look at this blown up again humans 0 0.06 anthropods which are basically all the insects spiders uh, and so on uh, that's one gigaton and fish is 0.7 gigaton um, I didn't mention something interesting you may want to know as well insects form the largest number of species of all organisms 56% of all species are insects. Okay, so anthropods are consisting of all the insects and they are one gigaton and they are much larger, 30% uh, larger than the fish, which is only 0.7 gigaton. So this is the total biomass of the fish, then maximum sustainable yield means basically we have to manage uh, to keep the biomass uh, at a safe level so that we don't exhaust it but of course things are being uh, overexploited etc. So we will look at uh, as I said some management issues uh, 
climate change issues and some issues uh, or some approaches uh, to uh, sustainably managing fisheries and approaches uh, which include not catching specific species but uh, thinking of the ecosystem in which they live. So if you want to catch tuna, you have to understand what tuna eats and what else lives around tuna which is dependent on tuna for s uh, in some way or the other. Okay, uh, schooling together or symbiotic relations and so on and so forth. Okay, so complicated, especially because open ocean is out there and it's hard to police it. Uh, uh, we have to depend on uh, honesty of the people, but there is so much money involved, so it's really the last remaining wild west uh, in the international waters, right? Lots of issues.